Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Satya's Chemistry. Today our topic is anal content. What is anal content? So, anal content means the amount of anal formed in the reaction mixture are called anal content. Anal content means the amount of anal formed in the reaction mixture are called anal content. So, here one question is there, which of the following compound contains more anal content? Here, given some compounds a b c d in these compounds which of the compound which of the which of the following compound contain more anal content how we calculate the anal content so what is the meaning of anal content the anal content means the amount of anal formed in the reaction mixture are called anal content how we calculate it so anal content depends on the acetic hydrogens acetic hydrogens if acidic hydrogens are more, anal content is more. If acidic hydrogens are less, anal content is less. What is the meaning of acidic hydrogens? Acidic hydrogens are nothing but alpha hydrogens. What are the alpha hydrogens? The hydrogen atoms which are bonded to alpha carbons are called alpha hydrogens. Okay, is it clear? So, anal content depends on the alpha hydrogens. If alpha hydrogens are more anal content is more anal content more if alpha hydrogens less anal content less is it clear so anal content means the amount of enal formed in the reaction mixture is called enal content. Enal content depends on the acidic hydrogens. Acidic hydrogens are nothing but alpha hydrogens. If alpha hydrogens are more, enal content is more. If alpha hydrogens are less, enal content is less. See in the question. So which of the following compound contain more enal content? Here they given some compounds. So what should we do here? First, we, we should calculate the number of alpha hydrogen. Which compound contain more alpha hydrogen? That is... Uh, that had the more enol okay say so he, here this is the functional group adjacent carbon is the alpha carbon he, the hydrogen attached to this carbon is alpha hydrogen here alpha hydrogens are three see here this is the functional group this is the alpha hydrogen two alpha hydrogens are possible this is the functional group this is the alpha carbon here also right side also one alpha carbon is there total alpha hydrogens are 6 alpha hydrogens. See, this is the functional group. Adjacent carbon is here. Alpha hydrogens are 0. That means this compound contains less enal content. Or this compound is not involving in keto enal tautomerate. That means enal content is 0. So, the question, uh, what is the question? Which of the following content? Which of the following compound contains more enal content? See, here alpha hydrogens are here more that means six alpha hydrogens are here that means enal content is more here okay answer is c how we are calculating the enal content so based on number of alpha hydrogens we are calculating the enal content if alpha hydrogens are more enal content is more if alpha hydrogens is less enal content is less it's very easy okay in a Completion exam point of view, this is very easy and calculation of anal content also very easy. First, you should calculate the alpha hydrogens. Which compound contain more alpha hydrogens? That compound had the more anal content. Okay, is it clear? And uh, next one, uh, next one is uh, generally in keto enal tautomerism, keto form is more than the anal form. Okay, so for example, if you take a CH3, C double bond to H, SLDH. This is the dynamic equilibrium. This keto compound invo uh, involves in keto enal tautomerism. The resulting compound is like this CH2 double bond C, OH, H. Okay, this is enal form and this is keto form. In generally, keto enal tautomerism, keto form is more percentage. That nearly approximately 99 percentage. And here, enal form is very less, that is 1 percentage. Why? Uh, it, why it is happening why well, because in keto form generally the function group is keto keto means c double bond bo. here the bond between carbon and oxygen is the ionic bond here here the bond between two carbon atoms is the covalent bond 
covalent bond. The bond between two carbon atom is covalent bond. Here the bond between carbon and oxygen is ionic bond. Generally ionic bonds are more stable than the covalent bond. That's why in ketoenal form keto is more stable or keto is exist in more form. Okay, more percentage. Is it clear? So in generally ketoenal tautomerism and keto is more strong and sorry more stable okay but uh, one exception case is there in case of a a i a a e okay in these two compounds enol form is n more percentage or enol enol form is exist in more percentage okay so let's see why how here we will discuss okay so A A. Do you know uh, what is the meaning of A? A A A A. Do you know what is the meaning of A? So A A. Exception cases A A and A A A. A A means acetyl acetone. Acetyl acetone. A A E means aceto acetic ester. What's the meaning? Aceto acetic ester. This is A A E. Okay, this is A A ester ester. So, what is the structure of A A and what is the structure of A A E? See, this is ion symbol. So. If we write the structure of this compound is ester stone. So the structure of ester stone is CH3, CH double bond O, CH2, CH double bond O, CH3. This is ester stone and CH3, CH double bond O, CH2, CH double bond O, O, C2, H5. This is ester group. Okay. See here in AE, sorry, in ester stone. This is the function group and this is the function group. Adjacent carbons are alpha carbons. Here is one alpha carbon and here and here. Out of these three alpha carbons, which carbon involved is it? Out of these three alpha hydrogens, which alpha hydrogens are involving in ketoenal tautomers? Tell me. This alpha hydrogens involves in ketoenal tautomers. Why? This alpha, uh, this methylene group we call it as a active methylene group. Why we are calling it as a active methylene group? Do you know right? Methylene. What is the formula of methylene? Methylene. Methylene means CH2. In a methane, if it loses one hydrogen, we get CH3. This is methyl. If it loses another hydrogen, CH2. This is called methylene okay so this is methylene this ch2 group we call it as a active methylene group why because this methylene is surrounded by two strong electron withdrawing group that's why it is more active comparatively with this methyl groups so this is an active methyl active methylene group so in a a ester stone active methylene group participate in keto anal tautomerism because this is more active why because this is surrounded by two strong electron withdrawing groups those are keto okay see here uh, how we write keto keto anal tautomerism ch3 C double bond O C for our, for our convenient I am writing hydrogen set like this okay C double bond O C H three this is the alpha hydrogen this alpha hydrogen can move the left side or right side both are equally uh, reactive okay so for uh, for um, for suppose if the hydrogen is moved towards left side it go to hydrogen here oxygen uh, then do in order to maintain five electrons and uh, electron in order to maintain in in, in, order, in order to maintain a structure five bond shifted from here to here okay so the inner form is like this c h3 c 
go hydro shape here single bond becomes double bond c h and c double bond go here and ch3 this is inner form you already know right this is keto form see here one very very important point is in inner form hydrogen for bond formation is possible see what is the meaning of hydrogen bond hydrogen bond means the bonding between hydrogen and more electronegative atom here hydrogen is here here more electronegative atom that is oxygen is here so here hydrogen bond formation takes place which type of hydrogen bonding it is intramolecular you already know right what is the meaning of intramolecular intramolecular hydrogen bonding intra means if the bond forms it within a molecule within a molecule as in previous class also we discussed within a molecule we called it as a intra if molecules are different to uh, that is called inter so within a molecule molecule we call it as a intermolecular hydrogen bonding here intermolecular hydrogen bond takes place and in way we are discussing in the inner form we are discussing all these points so first one is intermolecular hydrogen bond takes place and second electron shifting takes place what is the electron shifting electron shifting means if hydrogen bond forms here phi bond shift from here to here and this phi bond move to here the bond between oxygen and hydrogen shifted towards this side that means here electron shifting takes place in inner form electron shifting electron shifting nothing but we call it as a resonance resonance are possible see uh, due to these two uh, factors one is intermolecular hydrogen bonding and second one is electron shifting or resonance in aa enol form is more stable than the keto form enol form more stable or more percentage than keto form is it clear enol form is more stable or more percentage more percentage than keto where in which compound we are discussing all this in acetyl acetone okay say a a a a that means acetyl acetone in all form had electron sorry intramolecular hydrogen bonding and electron shifting or resonance due to these two factors in all form is more stable or in all form existing more percentage compared uh, comparatively uh, compared with keto form right so here in the same case here ester acetic ester in ester acetic ester also had active methylene group this is active methylene group why it is calling active methylene group because this is surrounded by two strong electron withdrawing groups this active methylene groups involves in keto enol dimerism then uh, see if you write here clearly in case of s2 c h3 c double bond o c h2 c double bond o o c2 h5 in this compound active methylene groups involves in keto enol dimerism that means the hydrogen bond shifted from here to possibility is there uh, two sides possibility is same so maybe this hydrogen shifted towards left side or towards right side that doesn't matters so for example if this hydrogen move towards this side so phi bond moves to in between carbon atoms then the structure should be like this uh, the inner form should be ch3 c hydrogen is moved here and single bond becomes double bond c and here double bond o o c2 h5 he in this compound also hydrogen bond takes place in between hydrogen and more electronegativity oxygen atom this bond is again intramolecular hydrogen bonding that means within a molecule hydrogen bond formation takes place that's why we are calling it as hydrogen bonding and second factor is electron shifting a resonance takes place again see phi bond shifting from here to here and then this bond shifted to here and the bond between this oxygen hydrogen moved towards this one okay 
here resonance is possible where in a non form right this is keto form Do, uh, so in a a e in a a e also in a non form hydrogen bonding and resonance takes place due to these two reasons a non form is more stable than the keto form or a non form is in more percentage than the keto form is it clear only these two exceptions are there in a a a a e active methylene group involves in keto enol tautomerism what is active methylene group the methylene group which is surrounded by two keto groups are called active methylene group this is more active that means it loses a hydrogen very fast why because this is surrounded by two active I'm sorry two electron withdrawing groups okay and the second here one more question is there uh, a a and a a e out of these two which is more acidic okay so here in a a and a a e in both compounds active methylene group involves in keto enol tautomerism right i am writing here the structures again c h3 c double bond o c h2 C double bond O CH3. This is AA and CH3. C double bond O CH2. C double bond O O C2 H4. This is AA. Okay. So here active methylene groups participates in keto enol tautomerism and here also same. What is the question here? AA and AA out of these two, which is more acidic? In these two, which is more acidic? More acidic means which ready uh, which loses hydrogen very fast. Which one loses uh, hydrogen very fast? Say here the functional group is keto, and here the functional group is keto. In A A two keto groups are there. Okay, in A A E this is keto, and this is. ester functional group okay so comparatively ester ketones are more strong electron withdrawing groups keto is more strong electron withdrawing group electron withdrawing group nature if we observe the electron withdrawing group nature keto is the strong electron withdrawing group than the ester that means keto the compound which contain keto functional group is readily loses their hydrogen and uh, that readily form uh, involves in keto enol tautomerism that means here aa ester aa readily are very fastly loses their hydrogen and involves in keto enol tautomerism that's why here aa is more acidic than the aa g okay so aa is more acidic than the A A E acidic nature. If we write acidic nature here, A A is more acidic than the A A E because A A E contain ester group. Ester group ester is the uh, ester is the less electron withdrawing group. That's why A A is more acidic than the A A E. Okay, is it clear? This is all about the enol content. Okay, so. Next, we will see some questions based on the tautomerism. So, first question is here: the inner form of a stone contains. You guys know, right? What is the inner form of a stone? That means here they are. Uh, he is asking. So, see, what is the inner form? This is keto form of acetone. That means C H three C double bond O C H three. If this compound participates in keto enol tautomerism, C H two double bond C O H C H three. You know right? This is the enol form. E O. That means double bond and O H function group is there. Here the question is: He is asking number of sigma bonds, pi bonds, and lone pair of electrons. This is the enol form. So for our convenience, if we write like this for calculation, C O H C hydrogen, hydrogen and hydrogen. See here number of sigma bonds one, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. How many sigma bonds are there? 9 sigma bonds. Number of 5 bonds. So, number of 5 bonds here only 1 5 bond is there. See, 1 5 bond. Number of lone pair electrons. Oxygen contains 2 lone pairs. I am saying 2 lone pairs. I am not saying 2 electrons. 1 pair means 2 electrons. Here 4 electrons are there. That means 2 lone pair of electrons is there. That means the enol form of S2 contains 9 sigma bonds, 1 5 bond, 2 lone pairs. The option A is the correct one. Okay. And uh, second question is which among the given molecules can exhibit tautomerism? What is the conditions for tautomerism? Here he is asking which of the following which among the given molecules can exhibit tautomerism. For condi uh, the tautomerism conditions, as in last class we discussed, right? So, first condition is compound should contain electron withdrawing group. And second condition is it should have alpha hydrogens. Which type of alpha hydrogens uh, should be there? The hydro saturated carbon at attached hydrogen atom. Okay, saturated carbon saturated carbon attached hydrogens hydrogen should be attached to saturated carbon right alpha hydrogen should be attached to saturated carbon that means sp3 carbon right you should remember these two points okay so he he given three molecules uh, one, two, three. Okay. So, first condition is compound should have electron withdrawing group. See, first uh, here so keto function group is there. This is the electron withdrawing group, and here keto function group is this is the electron withdrawing group, and here also electron withdrawing group is there. This is the function group. Okay. So, electron withdrawing group is there. So, first condition is satisfied, and second condition is alpha hydrogen should be there. This is the alpha carbon and this is the alpha carbon. Alpha carbon is saturated alpha carbon and it contains alpha hydrogen. Say one hydrogen and here is one hydrogen. This is the alpha carbon and this is the alpha carbon. This is the alpha carbon is saturated. So hydrogens are there. These are hydrogens. So second condition also satisfied. Okay. See here. This is the uh, functional group. Adjacent carbon is alpha carbon. This alpha carbon is a saturated one. Hydrogens are there. And uh, adjacent this carbon is alpha carbon and this is saturated one, it had one alpha hydrogen. That means here these three compounds uh, uh, satisfy in two conditions. What are the two conditions? First one is electron withdrawing group and second one alpha hydrogen uh, which are bonded to the carbon. Sorry, the saturated carbon attached to hydrogen are there. So here these two conditions are satisfied. So then which, the, which molecule can exit the atomism? Tell me, here one more important point is, here the hydrogen cell which are uh, the alpha hydrogen cell bonded at the bridge position, here this is the bridge position right, this is the bridge position and this is the bridge position, this is the bridge position and here the hydrogen is at the bridge position but here is uh, not at a bridge position. So if these hydrogens involves in keto enol automerism, this bridge will break, that means the bond is I'm oh, sorry, the, mm, the compound is become unstable. So, that's why these hydrogens which are presented at bridge position, they are not involving in keto enol tautomerism. This is very important. So, the, the bridged hydrogen, bridged hydrogens are not involving in keto enol tautomerism. That means here these two hydrogens are bridged alpha hydrogens and in the same case here, two hydrogens are uh, bridged hydrogens. If these participate in keto enol the bond, uh, the bridge will break. That means the compound should be, uh, the, the compound becomes unstable. That's why these two compounds are not involving keto enol tautomerism. And uh, coming to the third compound, here this hydrogen is bridged hydrogen, and uh, this is not involved in keto enol tautomerism. But this compound contains one unbridged hydrogen. That means here the hydrogen is there. This is not in bridge. That's why this hydrogen participate in keto enol tautomerism. That means number three compound involves in keto enol tautomerism. 
So the option is A, 3 only. See here, the, this is the very important one more point. So the hydrogens which are located at a bridge position, they are not involved in keto enol tautomerism. You should remember this uh, point, okay? So for, uh, the condition, what is the condition for keto enol tautomerism? Compound should contain electron beta group. And second condition is alpha hydrogen should, uh, should attach it to the saturated carbon, okay? That means they are attached to sp3 carbon. And here the third question is which of the following compounds cannot show tautomerism? See, cannot show tautomerism. Above uh, question is which uh, tautomerism showing compounds. Here they are asking cannot show tautomerism. So you already know the conditions for tautomerism, right? So in first compound, this is a function group, adjacent carbon is alpha carbon. See here electron withdrawing group is there, alpha hydrogens also there. That means this compound involves in keto enol tautomerism, right? So next question is CH2 double bond CHOH. This is actually he is give, he given uh, enol form. Already enol form um, is there, that means this compound involves in keto enol tautomerism, right? And see here, this is keto functional group. This is the functional group. This is actually ester, right? C double bond O O C H two. Okay. See, this is the alpha carbon. Alpha carbon had alpha hydrogen. That means this compound also involves in keto enol tautomerism, right? So see here, coming to the fourth compound. Mm, see, this is the functional group and this is the alpha carbon. Alpha carbon had alpha hydrogen. But see, this alpha carbon is sp2 carbon. What is the condition? Carbon should be sp3 carbon or saturated carbon, right? But here the carbon atom is unsaturated. That means sp2 carbon. That means this compound cannot show keto in a tautomerism. The fourth one is not showing keto in a tautomerism. Why? Because the hyd alpha hydrogen is attached at, are bonded at unsaturated carbon atom. Okay. And coming to the fifth, say this is the functional group. This is the alpha carbon. The alpha carbon is a saturated alpha carbon. So it involves in keto in a tautomerism. And the sixth one is ex uh, homework for you. If this compound involves in keto enol tautomerism, you should uh, tell me why it involves. If this uh, cannot show tautomerism, means why? So uh, comment me in comment session. Okay. So and this one also homework. You should try this too. If you don't get, we will discuss in the next class. Okay. And coming to the eighth one, this is the functional group. This is the alpha carbon, this is alpha carbon, this is saturated one. So this one also involves in keto enol tautomerism. This is the functional group and this is the alpha carbon and this is the alpha carbon. Here alpha carbon is unsaturated one. So this hydrogen is not involved in keto enol tautomerism. Here this is alpha carbon, this is saturated one, but this alpha carbon had no alpha, no hydrogens. No hydrogens means no keto enol tautomerism. That means this compound 9 1 also is not involved in keto enol tautomerism. That means this is not showing tautomerism. See, 4th one and ninth one is not involving in keto enol tautomerism, right? So you should tell me 6 and 7 whether they are involving keto enol tautomerism or not. Um, this is today's session. Thank you.